नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू चैनल सिंप्लीफाई योर स्पेस देर इज अंगस वेराइटी ऑफ कुकवेयर अवेलेबल इन द मार्केट टूडे बट एवरी टाइम वी थिंक अबाउट गेटिंग समथिंग न्यू कन्फ्यूजन क्लाउड अराउंड आर माइंड इन दिस वीडियो आई विल ट्राई टू डिमिस्टिफाई द क्वेश्चन अराउंड फाइव बेसिक कुकवेयर स्पेशली फॉर इंडियन कुकिंग दिस कैन बी हेल्पफुल इफ यूर थिंकिंग ऑफ अपग्रेडिंग योर कुकवेयर और सेटिंग अप अ न्यू होम Nowadays steel and cast iron cookware are very much in the trend but they can be expensive and like most of you I would hesitate to buy an expensive cookware that has only ornamental value points shared in this video are based on my personal experience let's get started for good quality and strong cookware i prefer 18 by 10 or 18 by 8 stainless steel cookware Any cookware made of 18 by 10 stainless steel contains 18% chromium and 10% nickel and is considered durable. Chromium protects stainless steel from stains and rust, while nickel makes chromium effective and gives your utensils and cookware a shine. Although aluminum cookware are still quite popular due to their affordability and in fact I also used them earlier, but over time I have been switching towards steel. Now I will talk about the cookware of various categories that are helpful on a routine basis and what different designs and sizes you may choose to suit your requirements. Let's start with the most popular cookware in any Indian kitchen. Pressure cookers and Indians whether living in India or abroad are inseparable. Most popular sizes are usually 1 to 5 liters depending on the family size. 1 and 1.5 liter cooks food in small quantities mostly for one or max two people it is good for making baby food or minor allied cooking like boiling 3 4 potatoes quite helpful to make a single portion of khichdi and dal two liter cooker is good for making food for two people and again anything in small quantities A 3 liter cooker is the most popular and best for a small family of 4. Dal, rice, pulao, vegetables, everything can be made easily. A 4 to 5 liter cooker is good for larger families and occasional cooking in larger quantities, say for hosting gatherings. Pressure cookers are quite effective at high altitude as well. Why? Please do answer in the comment section. Hawkins Prestige Butterfly Pigeon Mr Cook make good quality cookers. Butterfly and Pigeon are priced reasonably as compared to the other brands around 1100 to 1500 whereas other popular brands range from 2000 to 3500. An interesting point that I would like to share is that handles and valves even in a steel cookware may be made of aluminum which is not dishwasher friendly. My mistake led to a damaged handle and eventually it needed replacement. Since dishwashers are getting popular now, it would be a good point to see manufacturers stating the dishwasher compatibility. I find cookers with outer lids less messy and easy to use, although it is purely a personal view. Their handles are stronger than the cookers with the inner lids. Some people find this lid difficult to operate. Just see the arrow on the lid and place it towards the handle like this, and now just press lightly here from the top. It is a simple one time technique to learn and it becomes easy to operate thereafter. The next most commonly used cookware in Indian kitchens is kadai. There are plenty of sizes available to suit your needs. A 24 cm or 26 cm kadai is ideal for cooking for 2 to 4 people. For more than 4 people 28 to 32 cm is the right choice. You can also get 18 cm to 20 cm which can be used for deep frying or for cooking in less quantity. If you want to buy steel kadai, go for triply kadais as they are strong and easy to clean and maintain. When cooked correctly, food does not burn and you can cook using very less oil. Triply is designed with two layers of stainless steel and an aluminum core ensuring uniform and consistent heating on all types of cooktops. I have kadais from Bergner, Mr Cook, Hawkins and Meyer. All are generally good. This one from Meyer does not look like a proper triply and sometimes when I cook food sticks to the bottom, but it is okay if I'm cooking with oil. 
Their handles are heat resistant and prevent burn injuries. The smaller kadai is from Hawkins with a fragile wooden handle which got spoiled after little usage. So won't recommend wooden handles otherwise this is doing a great job. I have one of this type as well which is bigger in size. Its entire body is not triply only the base is a flat sandwich bottom. Food can be prepared in this as well but you will need to keep a check as food may get burned from the sides. Its handles are also not heat resistant. But if you want to get something in the budget then you can take this type of kadai which comes under rupees 1000. Whereas triply kadais range from 1500 to 3500 depending on the size. The next most used and essential cookware for every kitchen is the frying pan. 20 to 24 cm diameter are commonly used. I have three with triply and one with single ply. The 20 cm ones are usually smaller and are great for making omelettes, oats or preparing tadka. Another common use of frying pan is to reheat food for which this size is perfect. You can also use it to make baby food. You can use 24 to 26 cm frying pan for roasting and braising or you can use it for cooking vegetables. This one is a deep frying pan which is suitable to cook gravies as well. All these have a strong triply base and food does not burn in these. Ergonomically designed handles are heat resistant and comfortable. The single ply pan is also okay for light cooking but there is a tendency for food getting stuck resulting in stains from food burns. And hand washing can be a bit difficult. The handles of single ply frying pans are of this type which tends to loosen after some time of use. Actually if you can handle go for a cast iron skillet which is perfect for making eggs, pancakes and roasting. I have shown this in my earlier videos as well and it is my favourite. An important tip here, whenever you cook food in steel utensils, remember to cook it on medium or slow flame only. To ensure that food does not stick to the bottom, always preheat well before starting to cook. Indian homes love their chai. Sometimes during work from home, tea is made 3 to 4 times a day, making tea pan a crucial cookware at home. These tea pans are also useful for making noodles, soups or boiling eggs. Until now, I was using this normal single ply stainless steel tea pans only. They are good but after some time, burn stains form on the sides. Their handles also get hot making it difficult to hold without a cloth piece. Their handles also tend to become loose after some time. My two tea pans are without handles now. I have one with triply which is used every day and works great and you can see it is still shining like a new pan. This is a good quality strong base tea pan. This pan has 16 cm dia and 1.6 liters capacity. Tea for 3 to 4 people can be made comfortably. Its handle is strong, heat resistant and very comfortable to use. Whenever you buy a tea pan, always get with curved edges which minimize spill while pouring. I have been asked to recommend a good cast iron dosa tawa several times. Finding the right one is confusing. Dosa getting stuck makes both cooking and cleaning a nightmare. Let's talk about what I have. First I bought this one which is actually not a cast iron tawa and is very light in weight and not so great in making dosa. Usually the heavy cast iron tawa works well for home as it provides even heating for consistent cooking. Then I bought this one which is heavy and made of cast iron but still couldn't make dosas properly. Dosas tend to get stick even after using proper seasoning and that was because its middle part was a bit raised. Now I have got this tawa which is great. It is heavy made of good cast iron and pre-seasoned. It has this handle which makes it convenient to handle. Although this is not heat resistant and gets very hot while cooking. With this tawa, I got this handle cover which makes it easy to carry when it's hot. It is designed smartly to make perfect dosas. 
See dosas coming out nicely without effort. This is from Maya brand and is bit costly, around 2400. Whereas you can find a good dosa tawa of a local brand from Rs. 1000 to 1500. But after buying so many tawas and wasting my money, I feel it's worth every penny. My family is fond of South Indian food and we cherish our dosa and utpam breakfast. Don't wash it frequently. Just wipe it with a cloth or napkin and scrape off any food residues. Now pour some oil and spread it evenly before storing it back to the cabinet. Oiling will protect it from getting rusted. Wash it only once in a while with little soap and water and dry it immediately. Lastly, I want to talk about non-stick cookware. Although I don't have much variety to show, I have few tawas of different brands. It does not matter which brand of non-stick cookware you buy. If not cared properly, they will get scratched and spoiled. You can see here even the tawa of Hawkins brand got scratches and of no use anymore. And this one is working perfectly and has no scratches because it has been washed manually with sponge scrub only. Non-sticks are made of Teflon coating. If scratched, they get mixed with our food, which is very harmful. It is better to avoid using non-stick cookware, but if you still want to use them to make certain food items, just take care of them properly. Don't use harsh scrub and don't clean them in the dishwasher. So these were some of my favorite and everyday stainless steel and cast iron cookware. Whatever be the brand, if you choose the quality cookware with the right size, they stay with us for years. Thank you for watching this video. Please give a thumbs up and share this video with your family and friends. Do subscribe to our channel and follow us on Instagram and Facebook for all the latest updates and video notifications. We'll see you all next week. Happy organizing from Simplify Your Space. Bye-bye.